Hi guys, so I'm back. I know, again, it's been a little while. Anyway, so I thought I'd come here and just kind of show you some things that I've gotten in the mail, either for review, um, that I've won or that I've purchased. Want a little bit from everything. So um, let me just get right into it, I guess. So let me show you this first one. This first one here, this is something that I won through Beauty Undercover. Um, I've won a few things from Beauty Undercover. There's actually a couple of things in here. Um, this is from Hype Nail. This is the Garden Party Collection. It's really pretty. I kind of wish I would have painted my nails one of these shades versus what I did this morning with one of these lavender. It, this is the, it's an Essie Gel Polish, some kind of lavender shade. I don't know what shade it is. But I still have like gel polish underneath. I went to the salon and I was just too like, eh. I didn't want to go back and have them remove it and I didn't want to soak my nails either so I kind of just like buffed it out as much as I could and then painted over it because I'm lazy. I was starting to peel them off and I started ripping my nails so I was like okay let me stop peeling and let me just cover them up. So anyways they have a really nice um, shade selection here so they have this um, oh no, I think it's this pink is 03 pink, and then they have the blue one, it's called Blue Sky, and then Mint and Water Lily. So these are really pretty, pretty colors. Um, the other couple things that I got from Beauty Undercover was from Ahava, and these two, they came separately, and what they wanted you to do was to write a review, which I did. Um, this is the Mineral Radiance Cleansing Gel. This is really nice, it's very um, light, um, I kind of thought that it wasn't going to work well because it's almost like a very thin, thin cleanser. Um, it's like a gel consistency, obviously, because it's called cleansing gel. But it actually took my makeup off really, really well. So I was really surprised because I didn't expect it to work like that because it's it was just so watery and kind of thin. But it worked really, really good. This one here is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. It's in Prickly Pear and... Moringa? Moringa, I think that's how you say it. It smells really nice. It's a bit masculine. Let me see if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a bit masculine. It, it, I, I can't speak. It kind of reminds me of Irish Spring Soap. So I think it's kind of masculine. I think um, it's better towards men, unless you like, of course, that very clean smelling Irish soap kind of scent to your hands, you know? But it, it is really good and it's very moisturizing um, and very hydrating for the skin. I just don't care for the scent, at least for me. All right, so let's see. Let me see. I also got an Influencer box. I got an Influencer Vox box. It contained these three items right here. Um, this is the Lancome Benefat. I can't ever say any any of their products ever. It's a sunscreen with broad spectrum SPF 50 and it's water resistant. It says it up to 60 minutes and it, you shake it and it has like, sounds like it's got, I don't know, like a little something in there to help shake it up on the inside. But um, this obviously is to protect your skin because the main product in here is the Visionaire Crescendo. This is a peeling, um, like a peeling treatment. So it says for 14 days you use side one, and then for the next 14 days you use side two. Now, unfortunately for me, my pump is completely broken on the side two part, so I haven't really been able to, like I can get it out, but it's, it, it's, it's kind of like, I have to work at it to get it out but I can say like right now I didn't wash my hands after um, using I'm switched over to the side two right now but I didn't wash my hands and I left the peel on my hands I guess overnight and my hands are peeling right here in between my fingers so it's actually working really really well and my face is peeling um, like here and around my chin area like all my skin is starting to peel off now um, so it doesn't hurt, which is my fear. I was really nervous about it. Um, uh, what do you call it? Like burning or anything like that. It does burn. If you have like any open areas, like any blemishes 
and you were to put it over that, yeah, it burns. But overall, I've had no skin discomfort in general, and um, I just noticed the peeling. So it did say don't use any other products with it for right now, I guess for the testing purposes, but I feel like I need to exfoliate my face because I have all these little dry patches on my face and my skin peeling. So for that, it's working. So hopefully it'll lighten up my dark spots that I have on my face, that would be really nice. Um, and then the last thing in here that was sent is, I don't even know the name of this. This is called, oh, this is the Matte Shaker. And this one is in the color Pink Power. It's what I have on my lips. I just finished eating lunch. So, and I think what's really cool about this, you can kind of like dot it on the inside of your lips and it gives you like this little pink, um, I know I'm applying it weird, but I like it on the inside of the lip where it's kind of like you've just eaten a popsicle or something like that. It's really nice for that. And um, it is very matte. So if you put this on alone, the color is gonna last almost all day long, but it's not uncomfortable, but it is dry. But it doesn't have like, when you're wearing lipstick, this is like more like a stain kind of a thing. So it's really nice. Um, I didn't think I would like this shade because this is not like my type of thing, but it is like a wash of color, which is really, really nice. So I like that. And then I spent some cash at Ulta because I was watching that Taylor um, when she does the 15 days of foundation. I love those. I think this is her, th is it the third one or the second one? I think it's the third set of 15 days of foundation that she did. Anyway, she does foundation Fridays all the time. This happens to be one of the items that she had in one of her, I think it was her, um, foundation Fridays and she loved it. So, and I was like, Oh, she loved it. She is always looking for the same type of product that I am. We're totally different skin tones. Um, but, uh, she has oily skin. Uh, apparently I found out that we don't like the same types of products, which I thought that we would because she has the same like, um, oily skin, but she has a lot of blemishes. Um, I do have a lot of pigmentation issues, so I figured same difference, right? But she loved this. It comes in a package like this. I used this, I think I used it once for sure, maybe twice, and I did not like this at all. This is from Pure um, Cosmetics. This is in Golden Medium, and this is the Bare It All. Sorry, the sun is changing. I know it's dark and light and dark and light, but um, this is the 12 hour four in one skin protection perfecting foundation. Um, it has nice coverage, but for me, like my whole day is more like a 16 hour day is that's how my days are. It's not an eight hour day or a six hour day or something like it's like a 16 hour day. So for me, my halfway point is almost like an eight hour point. And by the eight hour point, if I recall correctly, I was very, very oily and I did not like like you can see it. It didn't look natural at all. Um, like what I'm wearing right now is, what is this? The L'Oreal Pro Matte with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And it has, I just ran out of my Kat Von D. I, I kind of mix a lot of foundations together for different reasons. Um, some are long lasting, some are high coverage, some for the different shades. So sometimes I'll mix two or three and sometimes even four different types of foundation just to kind of eh, mix up my own mesh of whatever, but it works. Um, so again, this is the, oh, it has the J Manuel because the J Manuel, um, it works really, really nice, but it's a little bit too dark. So I add that in because the shades that I have are a little bit light. I'm gonna sneeze. <clears throat> wow, that was a good sneeze. Oh, I love those. Anyway, so I'm going to return this back to Ulta because I did not like it. I didn't like how it just left me oily. I mean, maybe I should try it with a different primer before I return it, but um, nah. The other thing I got was from Stila. This is one of my favorite shades. I got one of the minis in some kit that I got last Christmas or something like that. This was in the shade Perla. I like the Patina, which is a darker shade. And then this Perla one is like the perfect neutral pink shade. I love this one. I wear this one every single day practically. I love this shade. 
and I love the Stay Less, Stay, Stay All Days. The only thing I don't like is with any long wearing lipstick, actually any lipstick, is that little white kind of crust that comes on the center of your lip. If anybody knows how to stop that, please let me know because I hate that. I go like midday and I go to the bathroom and I'm like, <sighs> and I'm scratching off that stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Right on the inside of your lip where the dry part meets the white part. White part, no, light part, no, wet part. Hmm. You know what I mean. Anyway, so this is a great shade. A last all day long. I'm not kidding, all day long. If you're looking for an all day wear lip, lip color um, that's matte, this is it. Stila Stay All Day. Uh, the other thing that I got on that same purchase was the Tarte Shape Tape. I had another one which I think it was just light, light medium, I think is the shade, or light neutral. Um, and it was, it's a little bit too, too light. Uh, so I, I kept it because I figured I could still use it and mix it in with something else. But I did get this other shade. This is the light medium honey. And this is actually like the perfect one. It's still a little bit light, but it is so good. I usually put this on before I use my foundation and I put it all over my dark spots. My dark under eye circles, I have these huge dark spots on my cheek. I mean, humongous. Um, so I really am very um, worrisome about them and um, they make me very uncomfortable. So I like to cover those up and right here on my forehead I have it. It's so weird. It's like this weird looking mask that I have on my face like that. Um, so this works really well. And then I just um, work it out with a beauty blender. Uh, what, was, what else did I get in that one? I got that, that, that something else oh and this Ofra lip color which I don't like either it is in the shade I don't know oh it's in the shade Rio I don't like it I like Ofra lip colors this looked really beautiful in the tube but it is a little bit too peachy orange for me it's too bright and too bold um, so with this alone I don't like it if you match it up with something else then yes but uh I just don't, I just want to put a lip color on and just go. I don't want to have to think about it. So for that, I'm going to return this and exchange it for another shade. But it does work very nicely. Um, and I've had other Ofra samples and I love them. And I forgot what the shade was. Um, but I want to see if they didn't have that shade online when I looked. And this was like the closest one, so I thought that was to it so I got it but I don't like it so I'll be returning these two okay and then I got from Birchbox with my Birchbox points this is the oh the deep tan I think it comes on Birchbox it had two different ones the deep tan and then the light medium I think it is um, anyway this is the perfect me perfect cute eye and cheek palette and it the palette itself looks just like this. It has the shades in the back, which is really nice. And it has a nice size mirror. And these are the shades right here. So it has, this one here is imaginative. On the top is brilliant, adventurous, flirty, mesmerizing, vibrant, and witty. And everything in here has tons and tons of pigment in there. Very bold. Um, you can see how how bold those things are. Look at this. I'll wipe my fingers down. And with my birch box points that I used, I think I had like a thirty, just over like thirty five, thirty seven dollars in birch box points. So that's what I used to get this. I didn't pay anything out of pocket, and I think I had like a twenty percent off code. So I kind of hoard my points until I get a code, and then I purchase that way. And then I did make a purchase from Sephora, which I do have to do another one because I have a couple of gift cards to spend. Um, but I got the Too Faced Natural Love Palette, which I'm sure everybody has seen this one. And it's really nice. It has a huge, huge mirrors in, in there. And then it has these amazing shades in here. These are really pretty, really light. Now I did watch a review I had already purchased this and I watched a review from Jen Loves Reviews about this and she wasn't thrilled about it. I think she said there was one shade, I want to say it was Kittens, which is like this P 
pinky lavender shade over here that she said was very unique and she loved that shade and I have to agree with her about that one. But I actually do like this. Um, I used it quite a bit and they are um, kind of not as pigmented as some other shadows but you can work with them and build them up so and I have been using this a lot lately so it's not it's not too bad yes it's shades probably just like a whole bunch of other shades that I already own but I'm enjoying using this palette so the other thing that I got I thought I got something else but which I may have and I just don't remember what it is because I put everything away already um, the other thing that I got is this Viseart little mini, um, it's the Petite Pro palette from Viseart. It just looks like this. And it's in 01, I guess. I don't see any other shades unless it's Paris 75011. No idea. Anyway, so you pull it out and it's got like this bright pink or bright red on the inside. And then you just pull this and you whip it open. So it's got a little mirror, which is really nice and it's got eight shades in there. And these shades here are amazing. These are fantastic, fantastic shades. They're super bold. They kind of remind me of the Lorac Pro formulas because they're easy to blend. They, they're they not as soft and they don't like kind of almost crumble, but I love Lorac. Even though Lorac is like that very soft, very fragile um, shades and, and um, shadows, I love that's like my all-time favorite is Lorac, the pro formulas, not so much the other ones. Um, and so I think this is really great. I just love these shades. Actually, I think that's what I have on my eyes today is this Viseart palette. I'm pretty sure. And a little bit of the Tarte um, Swamp Queen. Um, I have uh, the neutral, the, the all over sh lid shade. What is that? I forgot the name of it. The lightest shade in the palette to put all over. I have that one and then I have this. I have this darker brown here in the crease and then I have the gold one with, I think it's just the gold today, um, all over the lid and a little bit of this dark burgundy kind of brown shade um, in the crease as well and on the bottom lower lash line. This is a fantastic buy. This is definitely worth it and I like the little palette that how it hit, how it has the little um this little thingy right here whatever and how it opens it up just like this i like that i think it's very smart genius idea all right you guys that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again hopefully sooner than later all right